a deceiver of humanity, an instigator of trouble over the whole earth. On the day when he comes to it, when the sun of destruction arrives on earth, the created order will be thrown into commotion, and terror will engulf the earth. The sun will become dark in its place, and the stars will fall from the height. All the luminaries will be quenched, darkness will cover the created order. The earth with its inhabitants will shake, and mountains and heights will quake, springs and fountains will dry up, and the waves in the sea will abate, and the fish therein grow still. Rulers will stop rendering judgment, and priests will tremble in the sanctuary, and military power will collapse. Confusion will be on the earth, and all human powers will be paralyzed, for the evil one will be ready. He will come to and enter Jerusalem. He will rebuild and establish himself in Zion, and will make himself to be God, and enter into the sanctuary to take a seat in accordance with what the Apostle wrote to us. The Jews will take pride in him, they will prepare themselves and come to him. And he moreover will blaspheme when he says, I, even I, am the Father and the Son, the first and the last. There is no other God apart from me. But at that time ten thousand Jews will denounce him. They will answer him in truth. You are a deceiver for all creatures. For the one whom our ancestors restrained at the top of the wooden cross on Golgotha is actually the redeemer of all creatures, and he was raised up to the one who sent him. Then the evil one will be enraged, and he will issue a command regarding those who denounced him, that they should immediately die by the sword, and everyone will be too afraid to renounce him. Then he will begin to display wonders through deception in the heavens and on the earth, within the sea and on the dry land. He will summon the rain and it will fall. He will command the seed, and it will sprout however he will not actually perform miracles. He will be employing magic. He will command the waves and they will cease, and the winds will be obedient to him. He will suspend fruits on the trees and cause water to gush from the ground. He will address the leprous and they will become clean, speak to the blind, and they will see light. He will call to the deaf, and they will hear him, address even the mute and they will speak. He will effect all the wonders which our Lord performed within the created order, except that he will not be able to resurrect the dead, for he will not have authority over the spirits of the dead. Lightning flashes will be his messengers, and are the sign of his advent. Demons are his armies, and the commanders of the devils are his pupils. He will dispatch the heads of his legions to distant lands, where they will display marvelous powers and healings, and mislead the whole of creation.